President Trump managed to get lawmakers from both parties on their feet at times in his speech last night, touching on some bipartisan issues like infrastructure projects or roads and bridges, rising prescription drug prices that a lot of people complain about, and ending HIV and AIDS in America. My budget will ask Democrats and Republicans to make the needed commitment to eliminate the HIV epidemic in the United States within 10 years. That's welcome news for an organization that's been around for decades here in Southern Nevada, supporting people in their struggle against HIV AIDS. News 3's Steve Wolford is live at the new Aid for AIDS Nevada headquarters, where they're about to mark their 35th anniversary. <laughs> It's, it's hard to believe they've been around that long, but uh, of course, as you know, Penn and Teller are huge supporters of AFAN, as uh, the acronym goes. And Penn and Teller were here personally today to uh, cut the ribbon on the new AFAN service center here on the 1800 block of East Sahara. AFAN's new home is much more efficient for the staff and clients than the old center off Maryland Parkway. The biggest advantage is its proximity to other medical services. So instead of going across town for follow-up treatment, clients can walk across the hall to Hunter's Clinic for prescriptions and medical care. And even though the fight against AIDS may have fallen off the radar for a lot of people in Southern Nevada, it hasn't gone away. You know, we have more diagnosis of newly in, new, new individuals that are diagnosed with HIV. We have them a year, uh, then we have the days of a year. However, as more people with HIV live longer because of advances in medications, AFAN Executive Director Antioso Carrillo says the tactics in the fight have changed. Now you have a generation of people that were infected you know, 30 years ago. They're now in their 50s and 60s, and they're not only dealing with HIV, but they're also dealing with other conditions that are typical of people's age. Another issue, while HIV and AIDS may not face as much stigma as it once did, Carrillo says that's creating a new problem. People are not afraid of it as it was before, but that apathy is what at some level put them at risk. But with the continued support of people like Las Vegas headliner Penn Jillette, AFAN plans to be around for as long as there is a need. Well, what, we'd, what we'd like to have happen is for them not to need a fan at all. This is an organization that uh, exists in order to disappear. You know, when, when no longer anyone is suffering HIV and uh, AIDS, that'll be a wonderful time. And that certainly will be a wonderful time for all the people who work so hard to every day dedicated to people in this community who need them very much. They also want to remind everybody that coming up, I want to get this date right, April 7th, the AIDS Walk. And they want uh, as many people possible uh, to take part in that. Reporting live, Steve Wolford, News 3. Steve, thank you so much. Anybody 